I envision for the heavy oil and oil sands sector that we are going to be a key role for Alberta, for Canada, and for the globe for many decades to come. Hi, you're watching Global Energy Show's 5x5 series. I'm Rachel Gregory. Joining us today is Carolyn Bennett, CSO and Executive Vice President of GLJ. Carolyn, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thrilled to be here, Rachel. It's going to be fun. Carolyn, you are part of the top 275 female influencers in energy and have been named outstanding role model for women in our industry. Congratulations. So with that, how did you become involved with CHOA and how does it feel to be a role model for women in the industry? You know, the industry, we're really at a crazy pivotal time. So when I, I think of that, I get really excited and I get really energized and I get really determined. And I really want to make a difference for industry and really roll up my sleeves and, and do my part. I'm a big believer. I envision for the heavy oil and oil sands sector that we are going to be a key role for Alberta, for Canada, and for the globe for many decades to come. So to me, I'm super passionate about working to reset or morph, I think, the narratives, which are often misleading around our industry. It's also really important to me to be reaching out to that incoming generation and really attracting those young, bright minds to our industry because we're going to need them to break new trail for us. I am tremendously passionate also about our existing workforce. And as a group, we are innovative, we're resilient, resilient, and I think we're highly skilled. If Canada was to leave us behind, well, it would just be a massive loss and really, I think, make the whole energy transition just that much more difficult for us to achieve as a society. Can you tell us more about the Canadian Heavy Oil Association? Who are your members and what is it that you do? The CHOA, we exist to strengthen the Canadian energy sector and to accelerate the careers of our members. And we do that by providing members, industry, and the general public with technical, social, and educational programs that are all intended and designed to expand their knowledge, their relationships, and their influence in the heavy oil and the oil sands community. And our vision is for Canada to be the most responsible and the most innovative energy resource developer in the world. So when it comes to our membership, we're technical at our core, geoscientists and engineers, but it, it doesn't stop there. We really cut across entire organizations. So as an organization, we're doers and we create things. And we're really known for sharing successes and failures. So lesson learned to the benefit of industry. Over the last 30 years, how have you seen the CHOA change with the energy industry? Our problem set and our themes have progressed. They've morphed like over the last 35 years. And today, what we're focused on is our sustainability and ESG. We're focused on technology and innovation, and we're focused on digitalization and future skills for our members and for industry. At the Global Energy Show, the CHOA Theater is hosting experts over the three days of the event. Can you tell us more about what visitors can expect to take away from these presentations? Our theater is really geared to three takeaways. And the first one is really to elevate awareness. We want to elevate awareness with respect to Canada's energy sector, our commitment to society and the role that heavy oil and oil sands has to play. And the second is that we want to provide examples of how we're transforming, whether that's technology development, clean tech, IoT, or sustainability pathway work. And the third one is excitement. And that's excitement about all of the opportunities to make a difference. As Canada transitions towards net zero 2050, where does the CHOA fit within the energy transition? Certainly, Rachel, like this is one of the grand challenges of our times. The CHOA's role will be to help industry move past aspirations and find real pathways forward. Unquestionably, there's going to be a focus on technology and innovation. And unquestionably, there's going to be a focus on carbon capture sequestration and carbon capture use and storage. But as an organization, we're going to be thinking beyond scope one and scope two emissions to scope three as well, because our industry needs to be thinking about how we can develop new value added products to target specific customer needs. We're also going to be thinking and looking beyond heavy oil and oil sands. Like the CHOA, 
we're going to find ways to help, to connect, share, and learn our tagline with other sectors and other industries because we want to create the opportunities to leverage the experiences of each other so that we can all get there faster. And we're going to be thinking in terms of energy systems. So that's hydrogen, geothermal, renewables, small modular reactors, and decentralized distribution. Thank you so much, Carolyn. You are so passionate and excited about the work that you do. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for watching global energy shows 5 by 5 series make sure to like this video share it out to your networks and subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can stay up to date with all of our new releases we'll see you next week